Hello, I'm taking on a challenge to beat every playable Nintendo published game. Welcome to the next episode. The next game is... Game & Watch Mario's Bombs Away. Mario's Bombs Away was the fourth game released in the Panorama series, and something of note about this one was that it was the first Panorama original. Up until now, every Panorama game was a port of a game in the Tabletop series. I guess from here on out, Nintendo figured it would be better to just focus on making the Game & Watch games handheld again, as they did not make any more games in the Tabletop series. I'm not sure how much of a difference it made though, as the Panorama series didn't seem to fare much better than the Tabletop series. As I've said before, we've hit a point where the Game & Watch games were starting to run out of steam as they had started to decline in sales. It's been a while, but we've actually got a Smash Bros. reference from this one. Game & Watch's forward air in Ultimate sees Mr. Game & Watch dropping a bomb, and the move is titled, Bombs Away. In this one, Mario has moved on from his blue-collar jobs and has joined the military. Wow, Mario's really been all over the place, huh? It's not really clear who each side of the war is supposed to be, as the two sides just seem to be two different shades of green. The game does take place in some sort of jungle, but I think the game is intentionally vague about what exactly is going on in this war. Mario's job is to take a bunch of bombs from the left side of the screen to the right side. Unfortunately for him, a bunch of enemy soldiers are hiding behind the trees and attempt to light the bomb while Mario is holding it. There's also a really dumb soldier on your side, smoking while resting on top of a spilled barrel of oil. He occasionally chucks a cigar to the oil on the ground, which causes a fire to travel along the bottom, which Mario must also avoid. Come on, doesn't this soldier realize how much he's jeopardizing the mission? Of all the places to smoke, why do you have to pick a spilled barrel of oil? He stays like this the whole game too, so he's not even helping out. Anyway, these two sources of fire result in the primary challenge of the game, making your way to the right while avoiding the fire along the way. You must hold the bomb down to avoid the soldiers on the top, while also moving the bomb back up to avoid the fire traveling on the oil on the bottom. If the bomb gets set on fire, rather than just throwing it towards the trees like a smart person, Mario runs all the way back to the base, blowing himself up and the guy handing all the bombs to you. Geez, apparently Mario does not respond well under life-threatening situations like this. If you manage to get the bomb all the way to the end, you must pass the bomb off to an ally soldier. Annoyingly though, he is not always holding his arms out, so you must wait for the right moment to actually pass it off. Once you hand him the bomb, the soldier tosses it onto the enemy trees and waits for the next bomb. For whatever reason, these bombs won't actually get set off until you've lined up five bombs along the trees. Once you do so, however, the bombs will all go off at once and the enemy soldiers all comically fly up into the air. This may be a game about war, but the game clearly doesn't take itself too seriously. Once you do this, you earn a bunch of points for your efforts. On the topic of scoring, I also found out that moving to the right will always earn you points, even if you just move backwards before it. This made it easy to farm points by moving left to right, although you still want to bring the bomb to the end for the big points. The main way I found this to be useful was that if you were waiting for the path to clear, you could build points while waiting by moving back and forth. Like all Game & Watch games lately, the lives refresh at 300 points, so my goal was to reach 300 points in both game modes. I started with Game Mode A. While I was still learning the game, I panicked while waiting for the soldier and moved backwards into the enemy fire. I lost my first life right before handing off the final bomb to the soldier too. Once you mess this up, all the bombs in the trees are removed and you have to start everything over from scratch. Bummer. I started to do better after this, but I unfortunately lost my last life just before reaching 300 points. Thankfully, this one moved at a relatively quick pace, and I was able to get back to the 200s in no time. I had already lost two lives at this point though, so things were getting pretty stressful. Once I got close to 300, I decided to farm just the last few points by moving back and forth, since relying on the soldier to hold his arms out at the end could be a bit more risky. After reaching 300, I kept going and ended up at 445 points. On to game mode B. I'm not too sure what was different in this mode. They probably just made the sources of fire move more quickly to make it more difficult. Unfortunately, I lost two of my lives after only around 150 points. I was only halfway there, and the game was only going to get harder from here on out. I lost a lot of hope, but I kept going to see if I could pull it off. This one started to get insanely fast as I started to get close to 300. I had so many close calls. Somehow though, I was able to grind enough points by moving back and forth, and I made it to 300. Whew, I did it. Game & Watch Mario's Bombs Away, complete. On to the review. As far as Game & Watch games go, I thought this one was pretty solid. The game lets you move pretty quickly, and thanks to the fact that you get extra points when moving back and forth, you can push yourself to earn more points by taking more risks while waiting for it to be safe to move forwards. The visuals of this one are pretty funny too, even if Mario's name feels a bit tacked on at this point. As I say in all these Game & Watch reviews though, the game does get repetitive pretty quickly, and I gave the game a 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more of these in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss out on the next one. Also leave a like if you enjoyed it, since it will help the channel grow and motivate me to continue this series. I hope I will see you in the next step of my quest to beat every Nintendo game.